We just got those engineers in. So why don't we... Hmm, little shy, cash-wise. Alright. So I'm gonna sell a couple of these weapon fragments, just enough to get the satellite. Okay. Bam, satellite uplink. All right, that will be ready in 14 days. All right. And the council report is done in 10. Oh. All so Argentina is interested in getting some scopes. Unfortunately, you know, they offer we don't have any to spare. How much do they cost to make? Um, let's see. They'd give it $12. That'd be great. Let me see if... Yeah. I mean, I could sell a few sectoid corpses. Now, some of the corpses do eventually later on have uses in, like, certain, uh... Making, making some of the equipment. Well, the sectoid ones are used for the uplink, the satellite uplink um, aiming. So when you're doing the hangar bay, um, when you're doing the shooting down the UFOs. Oh, okay. Think about the disturbing implications of that, that whatever it is you're building and, and pieces of their bodies. Yeah. All right. So if I do this, that's 24. Then I can go to engineering, make two scopes, go to the situation room, All right. and then I get 57 bucks. Bam. Nice. Double the money. I don't know I build, I think I'll build a couple scopes anyways. So we got 33 extra dollars. All right, we are wheeling and dealing and oh, oh what's this? So, what is it, Doctor? What is? It's remarkable. The crystalline structure housed within the canister is actually a suspension containing billions of cybernetic nanomachines. Each made up of both organic oh, and mechanical components. My team's analysis indicates these microscopic robots are capable of assembling mechanical structures with unprecedented efficiency. With further study and some specialized facilities, we may be able to engineer a sort of cyber suit that interfaces with the human body. My team is more interested in the possibility of physically altering the tissue itself, incorporating aspects of the alien's own genetic adaptations by using the nanites to fuse the foreign material. The commander will have Weird to decide where stuff. the greatest advantage lies. Is there anything you agree on? Given the apparent purpose of the nanites, they allow combining organic materials with one another, or with machines. We have at least agreed to call them Meld. Small spoiler. They talked about Meld before this, but... No! <laughs> <coughs> That's right, they did. I don't know what Melator, whatever it said for the genetic one, but Bellator and Machina is the fighter within the machine. I think. The fighter war warrior yeah, but within the machine. Yeah, be be Bella is war, so... Or Bellum is war, yeah. Uh, okay, now let's see, what's it, what's it say? The amazing material's most salient feature is its versatility. In early testing, we were able to devise several methods that allow for direct manipulation of the meld substance and its physiochemical properties. While searching our records for any references to a material with similar, similar properties, 
I uncovered a number of redacted data stores created in the 1960s, but much of that information appears to have been lost. In any case, the advances we've made should allow for a wide range of applications in the field of genetic modification and cybernetic enhancement, although we will need to build dedicated facilities to enable these potential research pathways. It is probable that the invaders are more familiar with MELD than we are, and may already be fielding combat elements that take full advantage of its capabilities. So, uh, we now can build a cybernetics and genetics lab. The Mech 1 Warden is available to be made. Hyperreactive pupils and depth perception are available in the genetics lab, so is adaptive, adaptive bone marrow. Boom. And we even got 40 extra meld. Neat. So, the cyber cybernetics lab is available where we can augment soldiers and the genetics okay. lab. So, okay. Oh, he's, oh, yeah. Oh, well, well we, can, we can look at him later. Yeah. When we, that, that was right. the plan. Um, New mech. Are there, di are there different types of, like, mech chassis? Yes. Okay. So this one can get a powerful uh, arm, allowing the wielder to have a melee attack and boost okay. mobility. Or you can uh, attach a flamethrower. So we're going to go ahead and go with... Um, well, let's go with the sectoid autopsy. Because that's going to give We've us a research a credit. Of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid. Based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. ability. As we've All already right. seen a little bit in their like mind joining technology technology ability. Which lets like one sectoid strengthen another. Yeah. So I can build these facilities now if I really wanted to. Cybernetics lab or genetics lab. They're fairly cheap. How much? Require very little. Uh, 50. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, although when you, although they, when you this, first start out, there's so many. When you first start out, there's so many competing demands on, for your money. Yeah. So the cybernetics lab actually counts as a workshop for adjacency benefits. Oh, does so, it? Okay. Uh, it won't give me any bonus um, to rebates, but if I put it here right next to the workshop, it doesn't count. It's not like wasting a space. And then the oh, so um, you can so you can genetic oh, so lab you can... works like a. Um, like a laboratory. Lab okay, so like you mean like if you put, it's like if you had like a a workshop and then a uh, and then this and then the cybernetics lab and then on the other side another workshop. Those workshops would be treated as connected. Yep. Okay. Cool. And the the and they they give bonuses like it's a workshop too. Okay. Oh, okay. That's handy. Does it include like the extra engineers? Uh, no, I don't think you get the bonus engineers for it. Okay. That's still handy. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Okay. Incoming transmission. So here is Extremely impressed with the right, XCOM folks. project. So we received three hundred fifty five dollars for this month. Our oh and we got an we got an A we got an A yes. from uh from Mr. Scary Deep Voice Man there. Yeah. Right. And two sciences, scientists and two engineers. Hey, let's, can we look at the uh, situation room? Yeah. So where we are right now, North America's mostly calm. South America's in a mild panic, but they're okay. Uh, same for Africa. And then and Europe and Asia is in a mild panic, but nothing that's out not manageable. I notice Egypt since we did that uh that abduction mission there Egypt is Egypt's panic is back down to 1. Yeah. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. So let's see. I'm glad to have more help down here. From what little I've seen of their technology, the aliens were intent to Satellite uplink done in 5 days. Mm -hmm. Uh we could probably afford to build a couple more satellites. Uh, since cool. we're gonna have a, ne a nexus 
Or no, an uplink facility. Hang on, where is it? So if this supports two. We have one. We have two in the air right now. All right. We're gonna get another That'll... two. Plus the one bo and the plus one bonus. Yeah. So we should build one more satellite, I think. And it's gone down even further. Sixty-two dollars now. Okay. You know, it seems like since we uh we already have a plane there. Maybe we should work on trying to uh, cover more of Europe. Yeah. Although it also depends on who's most panicked at the time. Yeah. A satellite sense. reduces panic, right? Yeah. Upon launch? Okay. Our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Okay, so the Ooh, sectoid, sectoid autopsy is complete. All right. Now we can get the targeting aim uh, ability. Uh -huh. Right, uh, we found no discernible genetic variance between any of the small humanoid aliens that have been examined thus far. They are perfect genetic copies, each and every one of them. The subject's brain is quite sizable with respect to its body and appears to have been augmented even further with cybernetic implants. Considering the fragile nature of this creature's physical form, it's safe to assume these implants were intended to somehow improve the combat effectiveness of the species. Dr. Shen and the engineering team have already developed several theories as to how we might adapt these implants for our own use. Additional technical information may be available in the field when viewing hostile targets in the unit analysis view. Dr. Valen's personal note. Cloning, genetic manipulation, biomedical implants, the implications of this technology and the alien's motives are not reassuring. You wait so we get the uplink targeting aim. We can uh, create this one-time use uh, to uh, one-time use power up to allow the uh, planes to have automatic two automatic hits on a uh, yeah. on a UFO. I mentioned its technology is based on sectoid implants, which is presumably why we need corpses to manufacture them. Yeah. So that's kind of disturbing. Like we're we're, we're tearing stuff out of these dead aliens' brains and using it in our own machines. And so now that we've uh, actually done that autopsy, mm -hmm. and uh, um, we've got a small research credit for experimental warfare, and then oh, do we? the additional scientists have lowered the amount of uh, time the research will take. Ah. So I'm going to finish up alien materials here. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits... Scamming. Oh, is the new uplink online? Yep. All right. Over I'll 300 take, channels I, of. You should take solace in the fact that it seems like every non-combat personnel wears those sweaters. It's not just oh. that one guy. I think now over 300 channels of porn in XCOM headquarters. It's true. Gotta keep the boys and girls happy. Yep. So, uh, now we can launch a couple of these satellites. So, well, let's see where uh, to in in and uh, if we're looking for Europe, that includes UK, Actually, Russia. Actually, one thing I was like, if we have two available, we could just uh, wrap up uh, South America right now. We could. And there is some panic there. There oh. is indeed. And and if we had to and that would get us two scientists and two engineers per month. That's not bad. Not only that, we'd ha we get we have ways, and then yes. um, Ryu would get another two bonus aim because of his medal. Oh, that's right. We'd have a continent. Yep. Oh. Well, anyway, that's yeah. That would be my proposal. As speaking in my official capacity as sweater man. Yeah. Well, that's 150 extra a month. Um, yeah, I'll go for it. All right. Oh, that's right. There's no intercept. Damn. I'm sorry about that. Uh, that's no me. problem. We Look, do we can... have uh, some cash now. Do we have money to, to set one up? So, yeah, we're going to order some interceptors for South America. Come in six to eight weeks? Or actually, no, three days. They'll be ready in three days. We just have to hope. Oh, they'll be, they'll be done being made before the satellites are ready. So. Uh-oh, incoming. Scary deep voice, man.